Hey there, curious minds. Welcome back to another fascinating dive into the wonders of nature by Simply Awesome Planet. Ever wondered why bees die after they sting? It's a question that's buzzing around and today I'm here to give you the lowdown. So, let's get into the nitty gritty of this intriguing phenomenon. So, here's the thing. Not all bees die after they sting. There are many species of bees and each has its own unique characteristics. Bet you didn't know that. Most people think all bees meet their end after a sting, but that's not the case. But when it comes to honeybees, they've got a pretty unique situation. Their stingers are specially designed for a one-time use. You see, a bee's stinger is like a tiny barbed hook. These barbs are what make the sting so effective, but also so deadly for the bee. When a honeybee stings you, those barbs get stuck in your skin. The stinger is designed to lodge itself firmly, making it difficult to remove. And here's where it gets tragic. The bee struggles to free itself, but the barbs hold tight. As the bee tries to pull away, it ends up tearing part of its own abdomen, including the stinger, venom sac, and even some internal organs. This catastrophic injury is fatal, it's like leaving behind a part of itself. The bee flies away but it's already mortally wounded. The result? The bee dies shortly after. Pretty intense, right? It's a high price to pay for a single sting. But why would evolution allow for such a seemingly self-destructive mechanism? It seems counterintuitive at first glance. It's all about protecting the hive. Honeybees are incredibly social creatures and their survival depends on the collective well-being of the colony. Honeybees are incredibly social creatures. They live in colonies of thousands and their survival depends on the hive's safety. The hive is their fortress and every bee plays a role in its defense. They live in colonies of thousands and their survival depends on the hive's safety. When a honeybee stings, it's a last-ditch effort to defend against threats. The bee sacrifices itself to protect the hive from predators or intruders. The sacrifice of one bee can save the lives of many. It's a powerful, if heartbreaking, act of selflessness. This ultimate sacrifice ensures the survival of the colony. It's a powerful, if heartbreaking, act of selflessness. The bee's death serves a greater purpose, ensuring the safety and continuity of the hive. Now here's another fascinating bee fact for you. Did you know that bees can communicate with each other through dance? It's one of the most amazing aspects of their behavior. It's called the waggle dance. This dance is a sophisticated method of communication. When a worker bee finds a good source of nectar, it returns to the hive and performs a dance that tells the other bees where to find it. The dance is a precise way to share information. The direction and duration of the waggle tell the other bees the distance and direction to the flowers. It's like a bee GPS system. Pretty cool, huh? This dance ensures that the hive can efficiently gather resources. Bees are not just nature's little pollinators, they're tiny geniuses with a complex social structure and communication system. Their ability to work together and communicate is truly remarkable. So next time you see a bee buzzing around, remember the incredible story behind that tiny creature. Their stings might be painful, but their lives are fascinating and crucial to our ecosystem. Bees play a vital role in pollination, which is essential for the growth of many plants and crops. Thanks for tuning into Simply Awesome Planet Curious Minds. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more mind-blowing facts. This would really help my channel grow. Stay curious and I'll see you next time. Keep exploring the wonders of nature with us and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.